Hi, I'm Andreas Karum and I created the Photo Calendar app. I would like to show you the basic functionalities and uh, how you use the application. So the intention is that you create a photo calendar that you can share with uh, friends and family and so that they can uh, see every month um, a nice widget with a very personal photo um, so that they think of you and uh, just get reminded of uh, special events or a common hobby or, or whatever. So you, you start the calendar and then you're presented with the um, with a manager where you can create a new calendar. And by um, clicking on the placeholder image, you get a selection where you want to select the image for that month. So for the January, we can select, for example, something from the gallery where all your images are that are uh, in your gallery. One that you took from the camera, some you got from WhatsApp or your Instagram pictures or your pictures from Google Plus or Picasa. So everything that is integrated into the gallery. Or if you're using a file browser, you can use that to select images. Or what I have done in, in this case, um, I've created some uh, um, a folder in Dropbox and placed 12 images there for the calendar. Uh, so we can just go there uh, into the special folder I created and select the picture one for January and the picture two for February. And I did uh, prepare that already. So you would have to do the same thing for, for all months. So you have to select 12 images. You should uh, maybe adjust the images to the month a little bit. So I selected some uh, frosted leaves for January um, and some nice, um, it's a sunset in that case for April, um, some barbecue for July, a fun fair for August, and then uh, some autumn scenery for October, and of course a Christmas tree for December. So if you're happy with your selection, you click on create calendar, and then all the images are transferred to a server and if that succeeds you are getting back a, what I call a booking code and that code you can share with your, your friends or your parents, your girlfriend, your wife, uh, with uh, every person that you want to send the calendar through. So depending on your, um, on your upload bandwidth that might take some, some seconds and in the end you are presented with an eight digit uh, code. So it should be finished every second now. So there it is. Um, so you either have to uh, write down that code or memorize it, or um, I will show you what happens when you press the share button later. So for now, we will just leave it here and uh, use another device because that calendar can now be used on any Android device that runs the, um, the photo calendar. And that's basically everything from Android 2.3 upwards. So I have a Nexus 7 tablet here and uh, I want to uh, add the calendar to the home screen. So I go to the widgets here and um, browse to the calendar. place it here and uh, now it's asking for the booking code so we have to check back from the other application what that was and transfer that Go on. so in this case that was 44 K N D 5 W 0 And now on the Nexus 7, um, it's downloading all the images that we just transferred from the, um, from the other mobile to the server. And as you see, as expected, we are getting our frosty leaves as our January picture. Um, it's resizable, so if you want to have it bigger, you can make it as big as you want to. 
And uh, the idea is uh, maybe you don't want, uh, don't look at it every day, but uh, when browsing your icons and your launcher, I, I think you're passing by the screen and uh, every time you're reminded um, of that picture and the person that uh, has made you the present. So I hope these instructions were useful to you um, and I hope you enjoy the application. Um, if you leave a, a nice rating in the uh, Play Store or a comment or email me, I'm, uh, I'm grateful for, for every feedback that you have. Thanks, yours Andreas.